Well, with the ongoing drought, hunters across the state have expressed concern for what their season may look like. Shelby Burrow joins us live in the studio tonight after getting feedback from hunters and the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources. Shelby. Well, Gina, the DNR says it's too soon to make predictions on hunting season because the impacts on food sources aren't quite clear yet. But hunters tell me they're already seeing those negative impacts. Glenn has been hunting for 30 years. We, were, we had some good deer activity for a good while. And then about two weeks ago, it was like somebody turned the faucet off with the water and they quit coming around. And he says he's never experienced pre-season scouting like this. We, we, we lease farms in West Virginia and Ohio uh, to hunt, and I'm seeing it in both states. I'm seeing creek beds that I've never seen the bottom of before, completely dry, that you can walk across in your tennis shoes. The DNR says if these dry conditions continue, they will urge hunters to use caution when entering the woods to avoid wildfires by staying out of areas affected. They say a majority of the fall hunting season shouldn't be impacted by the drought. There's no tree mast out. Normally we have acorns, we have uh, hickory nuts and things that the deer and the local wildlife eat. And there's some out, but it's not near like what it usually is. They say when hunting certain species like waterfowl and rabbits, hunters may have less opportunities due to reduced water flow and lack of vegetative cover. Some deer hunters say they aren't hopeful for a successful season. It's the disappearance of them since it got really dry. When it got to the end of summer, uh, it was everything was pretty normal when you get to August a little spotty. The September was weird. It was just different. Jaeger says finding those water sources may increase the chances of bagging deer during this dry season. I think that uh, the reported deer kill will be down. I mean, they'll be harder to come across unless it starts raining. Uh, even at that, I think the numbers will be down because the food's down. The, everything's down. The DNR says nothing can be determined until their mass survey for this year is completed at the end of the month, which is when they survey the amount of food resources for wildlife produced by trees and shrubs. The DNR says they aren't expecting any large long-term impacts to wildlife due to the current drought conditions. Live in the studio, Shelby Burrow, Eyewitness News.